we finished in the book of Acts chapter 3 last time, the last uh, few uh, verses of chapter 3. Yea, and all of the prophets from Samuel and those that followed after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days, Peter said. These prophecies of the day of Pentecost and the pouring out of God's Spirit was foretold would happen. And Peter's telling them that it was in the prophets of old. You, he said, are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in your seed shall all the kingdoms of the earth be blessed. And his seed, singular, was Jesus Christ to bless the whole nations of this earth. Verse 26, Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, and sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. And that's what Peter emphasized on that day of Pentecost was sin, repentance, turning away from iniquity. Sin, as defined by the Bible, 1 John 3, 4, Romans 7, 7, James 2, 10 to 12, as defined by the Bible as to what is sin and turning people away from it. That's what Jesus preached in his gospel. This is what Peter now is preaching to all of those people there on the day of Pentecost. That people will turn from their sins as indeed expounded by the Bible. The Ten Commandments are just a nutshell of it. The rest of the Bible expands the Ten Commandments as to what is sin. Chapter 4. And as they spoke uh, these things unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees, Sadducees came to them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached uh, through Jesus the resurrection of the dead. The Sadducees, by the way, the Sadducees sect, did not believe in a resurrection of any kind. Verse 3, and they laid hands on them and put them in the hold in prison until the next day, for it was now the evening tide, or the evening. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. That's what God can do, my friends, when he sets about his work. It can be massive. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and Annas, the high priest, and uh, Cepheus and John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together in Jerusalem. And when they had set them in their midst, they said to them, By what power do you do these things? In what name do you do these things? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, You rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, impotent man, by what means he was made whole, be it known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God has raised, God has raised from the dead. 
even by him does this man stand here before you whole healed this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders which has become the head of the corner neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby you must be saved only through jesus christ the jesus christ of two thousand years ago only through him is there salvation it's not through any man any physical man on this earth it's not through any physical man it's not through any physical organization some kind of a a church set up by whoever it's none of those things it is only by the name of jesus christ that you can have salvation remember that and there's no man that should come between you and god the father and christ jesus your personal relationship is that close and secure that it is god the father and jesus christ there's no other between them and you sadly to say there's too many that have followed physical men down through the ages thinking they would get salvation through them only through jesus christ you can be saved only through him now when they saw the the boldness of peter and john and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men according to you know the educated of the world they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they uh, had been with jesus and beholding the man which was healed standing with them they could say nothing against it but when they had commanded them to go aside to go outside the council they conferred among themselves saying what shall we do to these men for that indeed is a notable miracle that has been done by them manifest to all that dwell in jerusalem and we can't deny it but that it spread no further among the people let us straightly threaten them that they speak no more in this man's name in the name of jesus christ and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all any more in the name of jesus but peter and john answered and said unto them whether it be right in the sight of god to hearken unto you more than unto god judge you for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard so when they had further threatened them they let them go finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people for all men glorified god for that which had been done the miracle this man being healed verse 22 for the man was over 40 years of age on whom the miracle of healing was shown it was a great miracle nobody could deny it nobody could deny it and the people were excited the people were thrilled at being able to see these things done on that pentecost day verse 32 sorry back over to uh 23 verse 23 jumped a whole bunch of verses there verse 23 
And being let go, they went to, to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they had heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against your holy child Jesus, whom you have anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate and the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together for to do whatsoever they had uh, in hand and your counsel determined before them what they were going to do. And now, Lord, behold the threatenings and grant unto your servants that which all boldness we may speak your word by stretching forth your hand to heal and the signs and wonders may be done by the name of your holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. The truth of God was going out mightily and powerfully going to the people there around Jerusalem on that day of Pentecost. Verse 32. And the multitude of them that were believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither said any of them that they had aught of their own possessions, uh, but they were willing to indeed have everything common. They were willing to share. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked for as many as were had possessions they and lands and houses, they sold them, some of them, and brought the price to the apostles. It's a way of sharing. I guess they wanted to share on that day. Man alive, what a day that was. And they were quite happy to stay in Jerusalem and share amongst themselves what they had. And they laid these possessions down before the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according to his need. According to their needs, they were given, sharing amongst themselves. And Jose, and who by the apostles was named Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought it, brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. Everybody was sharing. Everybody was giving. Everybody was excited of all the things that were happening on that Pentecost day. What a glorious day that it was. And the work of the church of God was just about now beginning. And it would go forth as we will read more next time.